Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and also back to my kitchen. Today's video is an awesome collaboration with some of my friends here on YouTube, Alice, Janet, and Laura. I will link all of their information in the description box below. Make sure to go check those out today because we are each sharing a Mexican recipe, our favorite ones. Mine is probably gonna be the least authentic knowing these girls, they get down in the kitchen and I get down but like in a lazy way. So this is a super easy pozole that I will be making today. I'm making it because one, it's easy, two, I'm lazy, and also three, it's delicious. And on top of all of that, so it snowed today in my part of Texas, which literally never happens. I can't tell you the last time it snowed here in San Antonio. So um, yeah, I figured a pozole would be a nice cozy recipe to make for today. It seemed fitting. And let's just jump right into the recipe. Before I jump right into the cooking, I like to prepare all of my ingredients ahead of time. So first I'm chopping one medium onion, and guys, this onion had me crying. I've heard chewing gum helps you not cry, and also wearing glasses helps, um, but I really don't know, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a method that works, if you have a hack. And next I am chopping some jalapenos. So the recipe called for I think two to four, two to five. So I went ahead and I did three because I don't know. I don't know how much John likes spice, but honestly last time I did this too and I didn't even taste any spice at all. So I don't know, maybe next time I'll go with all five. And I just cut them in half, de-seed them, and then I rinse them all. And guys, I think that I was like made for for this part of the process because as a kid I don't know if anybody else had this type of childhood but I was always in charge of de-seeding the jalapenos to make jalapeno poppers my dad always had me do that <laughs> which I don't know I feel like now it's so easy for me so thanks dad And now it's on to the garlic. So these were like some big hunkin' chunks of garlic. And I decided to just peel them by hand to see which is actually easier. My last hack, or where, you know, I put it in a little container and shake it to get all the peel off, or just to peel it by hand. And you know what, guys? I think peeling it by hand is easier. But let me tell you, if you don't like the smell of garlic on your hands, my sister shared with me another hack that if you rub your hands like inside of your stainless steel sink, it takes away the smell of the garlic. And guys, it blows my mind how much it works. Like I had just finished chopping this garlic. John came in and I asked him, what do my hands smell like after I tried that? And he was like, uh, I don't know, soap? But oh my gosh, it's so crazy. And also, um, I don't know how to chop garlic as you can see from this footage. I probably need to look that up because I was struggling. I don't mind chopping garlic, but ooh, it takes me a long time. Okay, so now we are adding some oil into a pot, put it on a medium high heat, add in your onion and let that like saute for about five minutes. Now, after the five minutes are up, you wanna add in your jalapenos and your garlic. And then add in one teaspoon of cumin and one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Now just let all of that saute together for an additional minute. Now add in one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. I chose fire roasted because I just like them, but honestly, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. And then also you're going to add in six cups of chicken broth. And guys, this was literally the last carton of chicken broth in my store. Like all of the shelves are empty and this one was standing free. It was a fat free one, but I took what I could get. And then just salt and pepper to taste. While we wait for our soup to come to a boil, I'd like to tell you guys just how much I love Alice, Janet, and Laura so, so much. Not only their content is so fun to watch, but also them as people. They're so fun to talk to, so sweet, and I just cannot tell you how much I appreciate them doing this collaboration with me and also just their friendship. I appreciate it so much, but I guess anyways, back to the soup. Just had to let you guys know. 
once that comes to a boil, you wanna reduce the heat to low, cover, let it simmer for 10 minutes. While your soup is simmering, I take that time to prepare my toppings. And I'm telling you, with pozole, toppings is where it's at. So first, I'm gonna chop a bunch of radishes because actually, John loves radishes. Um, I didn't, but in this, I totally do. And now, cabbage. I kind of hate that I buy such a big cabbage and then I never use it all, but it's just me that eats the cabbage, but it's also kind of worth it for me to get it because I really enjoy that in my soup. <laughs> so yeah, I just slice the cabbage into pieces and then I cut those pieces into smaller pieces and so on until I feel like that's an appropriate size. And I'm already putting it in a storage container because I know I'm not gonna obviously eat all of this tonight. So this is something that I have all week for lunch. Okay, once the 10 minutes are up, you are going to add in your hominy. So it calls for one 29 ounce can of hominy. I chose to do one 29 ounce can and then also an additional 12 ounce can just because that's my favorite part. But I will say guys, if you edit the recipe like I did, please add more chicken broth, but also, I did not have that luxury, my store was out. Anyways, moving on. Also, you wanna add in two and a half cups of chicken shredded. So you could use a rotisserie chicken. I used some pre-cooked shredded chicken that I just microwaved. Super easy, squeeze in some lime juice, add some cilantro, let that all heat together, heat through, and then your soup is done. How easy is that? And this is where all the magic happens, baby. It's time to prepare your bowls. Add the toppings you want. John just likes lots of cheese and lots of radishes. But me, I'm an everything kind of gal. So I'm doing some cabbage, some radishes, some avocado, extra cilantro, and some sour cream. And yum. All right, and there you guys have it. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out the ladies linked in the description box below. I know that you'll love their channels and the recipes that they share today. I can't wait to try them myself. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you wanna stick around, and leave me a comment letting me know your favorite Mexican recipe that I can try in the future. And thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.